The importance of serving others, of giving in a meaningful and thoughtful way, is a lesson one can learn early. Well, I think the love for community was inspired by my grandmother. She was an amazing woman. She used to make me go around to everyone in the community in the nighttime when we're doing our walk and say, good evening, Mr. So-and-so, and, you know, do things for people. And so, you know, I learned from that that you had to give. And then when I came to Canada, my mother was pretty much the same way. Beverly Halls was only eight years old when she left Trinidad to join her parents in Canada. She desperately missed her grandmother and found it hard to adjust to Canadian culture. At school, she had trouble pronouncing words and was thought to have a speech impediment. The kids bullied her and made fun of her. I felt so rejected. And that continues on and on afterwards because I was teased. People would say, are you deaf, dumb, or stupid? Oh, yeah, I forgot you, all of them. And, you know, you try to walk on with a smile, but you realize every time you're different. And no matter what you do, you're not going to be accepted. It wasn't until she was 12 years old that Beverly was diagnosed as being deaf. The school board insisted she enroll in a boarding school for deaf children. What followed was her first experience with activism. I told my mom, I don't want to go. And she said, well, I don't see why you should have to go. And this is why we started fighting the school board. And finally, the school board, I don't know how they heard, but they eventually got it. And I was allowed to stay in the school. I know that um, I get really passionate when I, when I think about, you know, the exclusion of people. And that passion comes from being 12 years old and being told that I can't um, be part of a normal society. Despite Beverly's victory, she continued to experience problems with the kids at school, which caused her to make some bad choices. And I ended up um, dropping out of school getting in with the wrong crowd, living on the street, and um, developed a lot of problems. I had already um, started using alcohol. I was um, into drugs, and I, was just, I just lost myself for five months. When you're lost like that, it's a hard way back, but I made it back. Beverly's life changed in many ways. She made a decision to devote her life to helping youth and the community. Beverly's done so much active work in the community. She's the kind of person that uh, is a natural, what I would call a natural leader, the kind of person who you know sees something that of need in the community and and brings people together. And I think that's her strength. Her strength is the way she brings people together around a particular issue. Beverly became actively involved with issues around disability, family violence, youth and most of all, poverty. I know the reality, but I also see that we can make so much difference if um, you know, we start focusing on the poor because out of poverty comes so many different issues that we need to address. She worked at the Daily Bread Food Bank and with Food Share on projects such as the development of community kitchens and community gardens and the promotion of the Good Food Box. For many years, she facilitated a huge holiday party that reached out to people and shelters across the GTA. Because of leadership of people like Beverly, we've been very successful in organizing committees, getting our issues out. I mean, advocacy is a big part of what Beverly does. She's lobbied every level of government on many issues, including child poverty, newcomers' support and education, family violence, and improve services for disabled people. Beverly's hard work influenced the renovation of the historic Assembly Hall into a community culture center. And the Gatehouse, a facility for child abuse survivors, was opened in Etobicoke. She is one of the founding members of the Metro Action Committee Against Family Violence. She worked with Campaign 2000, a child poverty group, as co-chair of the Parent Action Network, 
She was the spokesperson to the media about poverty, income security, and education. The House of Commons, LAMP, Cooperative Housing Federation, and Metro Toronto Police have all given awards to Beverly. We need the support of people at the grassroots level. We can't just do it from the top down. It's important to work from the bottom up. Beverly may be at the grassroots. She works one person at a time, one issue at a time. But through her ability to galvanize the community and motivate the community and mobilize the community, she has effected great change. Beverly has volunteered with numerous nonprofit organizations and served on boards of many organizations, such as Ontario Immigrants and Visible Minority Women's Organization, York Hispanic Centre, the Children's Aid, Cooperative Housing Federation of Canada, and was appointed by the Premier to the board of the Ontario College of Nurses. Beverly, without question, is a natural born leader. And we need more Beverly's in this world. I think I'm just about ready to go and do what I really absolutely wanted to do since I was a child, and that is to work with the United Nations. So, you know, so thank you for the award because that's what it's leading me now to go into the real world and, and do what I, I feel passionate to do.